Right, uh, welcome back. So I, I assume uh, you have finished uh, doing the exercise one. So let us move on to the next, uh, the second part of the demonstration for the uh, event visualizer. So let me share my screen again. Right. So now we know how to produce a basic visualization. Let's uh, try to look at something different. So let me open uh, the favorite item that you're seeing here, uh, the test results. Right. So I click and open on open this uh, test results and I'm seeing again another column chart. So what do we actually see here? So we are seeing a column chart uh, which has three columns. So the first one, the green one is inconclusive, blue is negative, red is positive. And here, uh, we are seeing different values. So we have five positives and 11, sorry, uh, five inconclusives and 11 positives. So let us look at the configuration. So this is coming from the COVID-19 case-based surveillance program. And we are looking at the stage three, which is lab results. So lab results stage is a repeatable stage. And in that repeatable stage, we are looking at the data element, uh, uh, which is the lab test results which has these three uh, in, in the visualization we are um, asking to visualize let me see what are the, all the all, all the options which are having here we have many options but out of this uh, all these options we have selected inconclusive negative and positive so because this is coming from a repeatable program stage and we have uh, drawn this visualization for events it is possible that you are having uh, test results for the same person repeated again because it is a repeatable program stage nothing is preventing you from obtaining multiple laboratory tests from the same patient so in case if we want to see how many unique patients results are represented here we have one way of doing that how we can do that is we go to this options here Right, so just please note the values here right now. So we have five inconclusives, one negative, and 11 positives. And we go to these options here. And what we can do is right now the output type has been configured as events. But when we expand this output type, we are seeing multiple uh, possible uh, different analysis that we can do. So what we are seeing now is events then it gives us options to the enrollment as well as tracked entity instance. However, this enrollment feature does not really work because in the event visualizer, we cannot kind of analyze based uh, uh, data from multiple program stages. So ideally speaking, what actually works is the tracked entity instance here. So if you are using this output type, I advise you to use the event or the tracked entity instance uh, options. So right now what is selected is events, and if we select tracked entity instance, it should be visualizing us the unique patient reports uh, coming from this program stage. So I selected tracked entity instance and when I click on update, you will see the values are now changing. Remember previously we had 11 positives and now it has come down to nine positives because it is only visualizing uh, uh, one it, it is counting one event from each of the patients right so uh, this is what it means by having tracked entity instance type of analysis here right so we are looking at unique patients uh, test results right so um, with that I think some of the is it, is it the uh, most recent event or yes ideally it should be the latest one that should be counting Yes. Dr. Pamod, if suppose one uh, entity uh, get a one negative report at one time and one entity report, uh, one uh, lab report as a positive. Yes. Uh, two, uh, two event, but for the same uh, entity, what would yes. be the result? Yeah, that's the thing. So that's what I mentioned here. When you try to take the tracked entity, uh, it, is only it is only looking at one event 
from this entire track so because we can't do a enrollment type of analysis here and uh, uh, so so let me let me go back again so here we had two options first one is events and second one is tracked entity so here we are looking at out of all the events so just imagine if you get a table of uh, as you correctly mentioned like so many patients are there uh, like it could be the same uh, I mean multiple reports from the same person okay and then again you also have uh, uh, you can also have uh, one report coming from one person but ideally speaking here what we are looking at we will forget about the event type right we will be looking at tracked entity instance so for example just imagine if you have a unique identifier for each uh, tracked entity right say uh, 001 002 likewise so it will only count how many you have uh, for, uh, I mean like so if you have say three reports from uh, all of them it will only take into consideration one right and it will count uh, how many unique tracked entity instances are there which has positive values something like that so this is not ideal uh, as you correctly like both the questions are about like I mean what if it has multiple values will it be shown here no it is not so that's why probably there will be like some enhancements coming to this event uh, visualize application which will provide you uh, more um, functionalities to address these types of analysis but one thing I can mention is if you really want to see how many unique um, counts are there for each uh, different like I mean combining different uh, data element values coming from events tomorrow we'll be discussing about program uh, indicators so there we have the possibility of defining it in such a way where we I mean like I'm not going into depths of uh, how to configure program indicators but there we can uh, do something called uh, filtering where we'll be able to kind of uh, like define um, the positive values in the filter and kind of do a, a track entity type or events count right so there we will we'll be having more flexibility in producing aggregate visualizations uh, in a better way so I guess I'm not going to take too much time explaining what, what is possible in program indicator configuration uh, so we will discuss about that uh, tomorrow but this is one limitation we have uh, with this uh, event visualize application at the moment right uh, okay so uh, with this this demonstration on uh, event visualizer comes to an end we have the exercise too uh, that you can do but before that let me uh, show you let me do the recap where we have one slide yeah so we'll be discussing briefly on this slide uh, what we have discussed under event visualizer so when creating a visualization uh, that uses events as the event output type both event and tracker data are handled in the same way right uh, when we are using event visualizer so this is what we discussed a while ago uh, the enrollment type of uh, output is not really working uh, in this application right so this is one major limitation which we have in the current event uh, visualize application we can't analyze enrollment type data so uh, if we are thinking of one enrollment of, to a person where we want to kind of have uh, data connected from multiple stages that's actually not working and then tracked entity instance output type will only work with tracker data right it is the tracker data not really the event data because it is only counting number of unique tracked entity instance that meet a given criteria within a single program so when it comes to uh, our last example it will only count the unique criteria is whether there is a positive or I mean whether we have a lab result there and in that list it will only count the tracked entities the unique tracked entities right so we can't actually do a kind of a granular uh, analysis uh, taking into consideration the event data values so these are some limitations which are there uh, in this event visualize application as it is now but still it is a very handy feature uh, to produce uh, some output especially based on event data right so um, 
with this we come to the end of uh, the section on event visualizer so now you can uh, do the exercise 2 which is a very brief one so i ho i hope you can um, maybe take a maximum 5 minutes to do the exercise 2 and once you are done i think we can uh, start the next session which is on maps